the great exodus of the Jews out of Egypt. At the head of this mass migration was Moses, who was in turn guided by a mysterious aerial phenomenon. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them along the way. And by night in a pillar of fire to give them light that they might travel by day and by night. It is this element of the story that is especially intriguing to modern UFO researchers. Just who, or what, was this protector? I think it was a very large UFO that was dark during the day, and then at night it glowed and provided light for the encampment below them. pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night uh, started leading the exodus. It was a voice communication with Moses during the whole of the exodus. Though the Pharaoh initially allowed the exodus of the Jews, he changed his mind and charged after them with all the chariots of Egypt and hundreds of his men. was a chase that led to one of the most spectacular events in the Bible. Theory goes that the object's extraterrestrial propulsion system was what physically pushed the waters aside, allowing Moses and his followers safe passage. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the water may come back upon the Egyptians. As the Israelites approached the slopes of Mount Sinai, the pillar of cloud again communicated with Moses. The Lord said to Moses, Be ready in the morning, and come up in the morning to Mount Sinai, and present yourself there to me on top of the mountain. When Jehovah landed on the mount, he gave a specific warning to keep people away. Moses went up on the mountain, and the cloud covered the mountain. Modern theorists speculate that this time on the mount was spent inside a UFO. Were Elijah's chariots of fire and the glowing cloud that met Moses on Mount Sinai one and the same? We have a pattern that's a very much part of the biblical pattern. That is, some strange object shows up in the sky and a voice comes from it. You get this during the Exodus with a pillar cloud and a voice coming to Moses. Ezekiel. He became a prophet. Ezekiel was enraptured by something in the sky. As for the appearance of the wheels and their construction, their appearance was like the gleaming of a chrysolite. Ezekiel is describing a flying, spinning, glowing, metallic object that ascends and lands in front of him. When the wheels of Ezekiel hovered above him, he may have thought he was seeing a supernatural reality, but what if it was simply a high-tech reality? Uh, how do you tell the difference between the supernatural and the super-tech?